Hi friends, you are welcome back to Fifi Cost Fashion Out channel. My name is Fola. We are grateful for as many that have been subscribing to this channel. It goes a long way. And uh, if you are yet to subscribe, do well to subscribe today. Thank you. Um, today we'll be learning how to make a jacket dress. And uh, here I have come with my pattern blouse. The length I'll be working with, um, the length of a jacket dress is uh, 40 inches. So I measure from here to here, 40 inches. The half inch you are seeing up here is uh, shoulder allowance. Then we have uh, one and a half down here as my hem allowance. So we use this one to hem my jacket down here. So, and uh, here I first of all measure three inches inward. I measure three inches, I roll it down. I measure three inches down as well, I roll it down. This will serve as a lapé. So the, you know, the standard the measurement for lapé is uh, two inches, but the kind of lapé we are having in our, in our jacket is a bold one. So that's why we extend it to three inches. And then um, here we have our shoulder line of uh, eight inches. The shoulder um, length of the person we are working with is 15. We divide it by to give us 7.5. We had the other inch to hit as a seam allowance because our jacket will be having short uh, sleeve. If you are doing yours, I mean your own jacket, if you are doing it um, sleeveless the way it is in the thumbnail, you might not need to add the seam allowance to your shoulder length. Then we have uh, 8 inches as our chest line. Um, 10 inches as a bust point, 17 inches as our waist line or half length, 25 inches as our hip line, and the, the dress length is 40 inches. 40 inches. So now, the next thing we have to do now is to take our horizontal measurement. The bust we are working with is uh, 33. If you divide 33 by 4, it gives us the eighth quarter. So every of your measurements now is going to be starting from this line. So on this chest line, we measure eight quarter. We measure eight quarter. I'll measure eight and a half just to give it a little bit allowance. So I'll measure, we'll be using one inch as a, a seam allowance, one inch. So we want to get our waist now. Um, to achieve that, uh, we first of all create our waist that. And um, to do that, we will be needing our bust pan. And the bust pan we are working with is the, so that is nipple to nipple, is seven inches. We divide it by to give us 3.5. We had half an inch to it as a seam allowance. So we make, we're making four. So on the bust point, we measure four inches. We measure it on the waistline as well, four inches. Then we connect it with straight ruler. We want to create our that now. So on this bust point, you just step down with like um, 1.5 to 2 inches. Then on the waist, line you come to the left and to the right with a half, half an inch half an inch then you connect it so that's our bust pan i will measure it on the hip line as well that is four inches i connect it straight to the waist so from this waist line now just step down with like a four to four and a half uh, inches. Then you, you connect. You connect the way you did in the upper part. Yes, so we have been able to create our that now. So on this waistline now, we go ahead and, you know, measure our 
waist and the waist measurement we are working with is 27 we divide it by four it gives us six three quarter so on this waistline we measure six three quarter six three quarter then we return this three quarter let me make it yeah i won't give it any his allowance here because that's our the waist we want it to be fitted at the waist uh, region so we'll just return this a uh, one inch that then one inch uh, seam allowance and then we move straight to the hip the hip measurement we are working with is 39 we divide 39 by 4 give us 9 three quarter so we just add three quarter this allowance there making 10 so we measure 10 here uh, as our hip measurement So we measure 10 here as our hip measurement, then we measure one inch uh, seam allowance. Our dress is a pencil or jacket. So, which means whatever we get here on the hip line, we are having 11 all together here on the hip line. So we are going to deduct two inches from that, uh, uh, whatever we are having on the hip line here. That is hip measurement plus the, um, or just deduct um, two inches from your hip measurements. That is 10 inches. You deduct two from 10, it gives you eight inches. Then two inches, I mean one inch seam allowance. That is it. So we just go ahead and connect this together. You connect the, the waist, I mean the bust to the waist then you connect the waist to the hip then your hip to your dress legs you connect the hip to the tip of your uh, dress so now let's just go ahead and uh, um Create our, I mean, let the armhole be formed now. So you just come to the armhole line. After the uh, shoulder slope, you measure what you are getting. What you are having here, you have uh, seven inches, you divide it by two, that's 3.5. You mark it, you come in with like a three quarter or half an inch. Then you just place your French cuff to connect. Connect it just like that. Let me use another. Uh, yes, the hammer has been formed. So the next thing we want to take care of is our lapel. So for our Lapel here, the, it depends on how deep you want your lapel. For this one we are making, we want to make it in such a way that you won't need to um, apply camisole under. But you, if you want yours in, um, deeper in such a way that you will be applying camisole, so you can just step down because I will be coming down from the shoulder line now. I will be coming down with nine inches, nine inches. But you, you can, if you want to be uh, using camisole on that heat, you can uh, choose to use like 12. You can do it to be under your, under bust, just the way it is in the um, thumbnail. So you can use your under bust measurement to, to mark where you want to come out for your lapel. And you can use your waist if you like, depend on how you want it. But for this, We'll be coming down with just nine inches because we want proper, you know, lapel that we don't need camisole for. So we mark this nine inches. So on this nine inches, we just measure 1.25. That is one quarter as our button, button allowance. Because the purpose of this, the three inches we leave here is for button allowance and, and lapel. 
Let me just write this. Button, allowance, um, lapel. So that's the essence of this uh, three inches that we leave here. So I will mark this uh, same 1.25 I mark here. I mark it under here because I want to connect it together. I want to connect it together with a straight ruler. So that uh, 1.25 will now serve as my button allowance. Yes. This is it. So the next thing I will do. So now we have not created our neckline. So to create, uh, to create a neckline for this uh, jacket, what we do is that on this line, we come down by three, we measure three inches down, we mark it. Here, on the shoulder line, we measure 2.5. That's 2.5. That is what I connect the shoulder slope with. So on this uh, three inches now, so get your three inches. On this line now, we just, Come, you can just go ahead and measure a perpendicular line first. So on this line now, you just, you know, we have a 2.5 here. On this line, just measure like 2.25. So you connect it. Yes. So this is the line you are considering for your neckline now. So on it, because it ought not to, to be sharp. So you just use your French curve just to connect it. See. Yes. So you can use your free hand sketch as well. So this is what we'll be cutting out. So you just extend this line to this end, three inches. Yes, that is for the next line for our jacket. So the next thing you have to do is to connect this line now. This 1.25 that you come out as your button allowance, you now connect it slightly to the upper region. So this will serve as a lapel. So by the time we cut it out, you will understand it better. So I want to get my shoulder joining allowance now of an inch and connect it we are good to go this is the pattern draft for our our jacket uh, dress so i want to cut it now connect this line straight down that's our own allowance Then I want to cut my button allowance and lapel now. So you cut on this line. Then you cut your the neckline. Yes, this is the neckline. So this is the way our lapel is going to after joining the, the color so you can see what we are talking about but before then there are some other things we need to take care of here now because our jacket is the one that is having band is having band by the waist like two inches band you know the our jacket dress is the one that having band like two inches band so what we do is that we want to go ahead and separate the dam from a uh, hop now and then we get our band so we measure two inches up so this will serve as a band we do the same thing here we connect it through to the button allowance the next thing we'll be doing is i want to close this dart 
for and to achieve that, before we cut out our band, we are going to do, we are going to close the dart. So we are going to cut on this uh, waistline. So we want to manipulate our dart now, and to achieve that, all we'll be doing is we cut this, cut it there, and then we close the dart this way. Close the dart this way. Let's close the, the dart of the, the damp part as well first. Close the dart that way. So before we move on, let's quickly create our bust dart. I I supposed to have done that before to escape my own. But then, so I want to create the bust that now. And to achieve that, what you do is that you measure, you take your measurement from the bust to the to the waistline. We are having nine inches you divide it by by two that's 4.5 you mark it so you just connect to your bust pan here just this way so on this line now you just step in with one inch so here now you come up and down with half half inch so you connect to this line. So on this upper one, you step out with half an inch. So this you connect to your bust. So you connect this to the center one. And just like that, so I just take cut the person we are working for is a the that the boss that is one inch because it's a um size boss size 33, you know, boss 32 to 34. The, the boss that is one inch, so if it's a like a 36 to 40 now you can use 125 so that is it so this one we are going to this one will be, we are going to be cutting it out together on our fabric so we will be closing it just in your, that within your fabric we are not uh, closing this on the pattern so this is the way it's going to be in your fabric you hold it from the wrong side of your fabric so that is for that and then uh, this is the fabric i'll be using for this project so it's because of uh, some other things we need to do that's why i decided to use a pattern like all these uh, um that manipulation um, stuff and uh, because of the even the band so i'll be cutting out the band now then i tell you the next thing you do so this is the band this is the so for the band now half an inch will be added to up and down so for the upper parts you will only be adding half an inch to this uh, down part so for the skirt part you'll be adding half an inch of it so this is the pattern draft for the for jacket uh, dress. So let's just move straight to the back. Okay. So this is what you'll be using now to cut out your your fabric. And when you are cutting out your fabric, just have it in mind that 
half an inch will be added up here half an inch will be added down here then for your band half an inch will be added both up and down and when you are cutting this your this your lapel ensure that when you place it on your fabric ensure you follow the the line so don't manipulate it so that it will give you best result now we want to draft our back the back view of our jacket uh, dress so and to achieve that the length we are having here we have uh, 39 inches here as the length you know for the front it was a uh, 40 but for the back it has to reduce with a uh, one inch that one inch that we use to hold our bust that that's what make it to be 40 in the front so we have uh, 39 inches as the length of our dress we have a uh, half an inch up here as our joining allowance of our shoulder then we have a uh, 1.5 as our uh, hem allowance here and then for the shoulder we have uh, the shoulder length is eight inches as we've been told in the front the chest line is a uh, eight inches bust point is a uh, 10 inches and then uh, our waistline for the back is 16 inches you know for the front it was 17 inches for the back is 16 inches we have our hip line of 25 inches so that is the horizontal line you are seeing here so the next thing is to take the horizontal measurement now and then the bust we are working with is 33 we divide it by four it gives us the eight quarter uh, we mark eight and a half because of the ease allowance then one inch as our uh, seam allowance now we want to take our darts before measuring our waist so to achieve that we get our, our bust pan on the bust point uh, line so we get the bust pan of four inches so we get it here four inches get it on the hip four inches we connect it with a straight ruler now you know we are told that uh, in the front that to get our bust we uh, step down with like 1.5 to 2 inches from a bust point but for the back you step up with like uh, 1.5 to 2 inches so we step up with 1.5 inches so we connect it with this uh, straight line before i continue measure three quarter that is the uh, 0.75 we measure it up here we measure it down here we rule it down it's not uh, for zipper it is to shape the back of our jacket dress so i suppose to have uh, told you this and uh, all our measurement is now starting from this uh, line so on the waistline now we come to the left and to the right with a uh, half an inch and on the post pan line so we now connect we connect it up here so that is for our dust so for the down part we step down on the from this waistline we step down with like a four uh, four to five inches let me stop on 4.5 then we connect as well just permit me to continue with this uh, red marker um then we on the waist line now we measure our waist the waist we are the waist measurement we are working with is uh, 27 we divide it by four give us this three quarter we measure it on the waistline this three quarter we return this a uh, one inch uh, that the one inch seam allowance so we move to the hip line the hip measurement we are working with is 39 we divide it by four give us nine three quarter plus the heat allowance of quarter making 10 we measure 10 here then we mark one inch seam allowance so at the tip of our dress here we deduct um two inches from the hip measurement so we deduct 
2 inches from me. 10 inches to give us 8 inches, then um, 1 inch, same allowance. Then we connect it. Connect it from hip, we we'll connect to the waist. Then we we'll connect from a bust to, to waist. So we get our arm mold line and we draw out our arm mold by getting the midpoint of this 3.5 then we just go ahead and connect to this end just like that yes so we want to shape the center back of our dress now. So on this waist um, line, you come out of this line by quarter of an inch. Then you connect it to the hip part slightly. Then you connect to the upper part. Yes. You know, we we have half an inch here outside there, so you measure that half an inch back here. So you connect it to this end to have our three quarter back. So you do the same thing here. So by the time we cut off this, so we are still having our three quarter to shape our back. So that is for that. So the next thing we want to do now is to cut it out. Then before we now close our that and remove the band. Let me, let me just draw the joining allowance of the shoulder. Half an inch. Half an inch. Then we have not drawn the, the neckline. So I draw the neckline by coming down. You measure the wideness of your neck, 2.5, just the way you did in the front, 2.5 inches. That is what I connect my shoulder slope with. Then you step down with one inch as the depth of your back neck. Then you, you connect this way. Yes. So let me just go ahead and cut it out. Then I cut out my center back and shape it. Here we have it. So the next thing is just for us to cut here. So we measure from the um, waistline we measure up two inches to for our band just the way we did in the front two inches we rule it so before we cut out this we want to close our back dart first you can choose to close the dart you can choose to hold your dart so I cut on the waist. I close the the dart by this is it. So the next thing we have to do now is to cut out our, our um, band. Cut out the band. Then note that when you are cutting out your fabric, half an inch will be added 
add our inch up here and when you are cutting out your band you know the way it looks ensure that you note the hop and down take note of the hop and down so that you won't mix it up so you had half an inch down here so you had half an inch add half, add half an inch here add half an inch half an inch add half an inch here and uh, note that when you are cutting out your fabric by the time you cut out you know everything is going to be on fold by the time you cut out your fabric ensure that you first of all join this center back together with this uh, three quarter join it together open it and iron it very well so you do the same thing to all this you join the, the two pieces you join it together at this center um, back with this uh, three quarter then you open it and iron it very well what you want to achieve i mean to shape your back and the the fabric for your dress to be fitted as your back has already been achieved by this so you just join it back so that is for the back then when you are cutting out your your fabric depends on the type like this type of fabric i'm using is a thick one i'm not using line so i will be cutting out facing for this back and um, for the front cut for the front cut when you are you are going to cut out the facing your facing is going to be like half of this uh, half of this is going to be on fold you know and the, the facing i will be using the same fabric i'm using to cut out the facing but you know for the back facing it is just on the neck uh, um, line but for the front you are going to cut out like half of this like from here you just all you do is that you just measure two or two inches or half of this your your neck like line the remaining one the half of it's like a 2.5 so it is on this line you are going to cut your the fabric half of this will be cut out as your facing so that is for the front so then you you might choose not to fix a sleeve you might do it sleeveless or you put any you fix any sleeve of your choice so i believe you have enjoyed this video so like it drop your comments on the comment section and then ensure that you subscribe if you have not subscribed and then thank you so much for for watching see you in my next video